Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to run your Selenium automation scripts on Mac Safari browser. So let's get started. So in this session, guys, we'll start everything from scratch. Okay, in a Mac machine, along with the installations, like a Java installation, Eclipse ID installation, and followed by how to create a project and how to configure the project with Selenium, everything guys, okay? So we'll start from the installation of Java guys. So in order for me to run the Selenium automation scripts you know, on a Mac machine, I should have Java installed in this machine, right? So we'll start from there. So how to download and install Java? So I'll go to the new tab here. So here I'll say download Java JDK 11. Just Google search for this download Java JDK 11. And here you'll get the search results like this. Click on this first link Java SC 11 archive downloads Oracle. Click on that link. You'll be taken here. Scroll down. When you scroll down here, uh, since this operating system is a Mac operating system, I have to come to this section here. Installer is there and compressed archive is there. I have to go with the installer. Mac OS X64 DMG installer. Okay, I have to go with this. And here we have the .dmg extension. Just click on this. It lasts for the agreement. Select the agreement and uh, click on download. The moment you select uh, download, it will take you to the Oracle login page. If you already have an account, you can directly provide the details here. Otherwise, create an account, guys. Okay, you have to create an account here. So since I already have created an account, I'll directly provide the credentials. Okay, let me give the password also. Okay. So when I sign in guys, if these credentials are correct, then automatically the download will start here. As you can see, the download started. It will take some time, guys. You see, it's taking, uh, it needs 20 more seconds, right? Let's wait for the download to happen. So 10 more seconds, let's wait. It's almost there, so let's wait. Yes, almost done. Three, two, one, go. Okay, done, guys. So download has been completed. Okay, so I'll double click here. So it's opening JDK. Okay, I got this package when I double click on this downloaded file, I got this package. Okay. So I'll double click on this package. So something is happening. You see, you'll get an installation wizard like this. Okay. It has to when I double click on this, it took some while and it has displayed this installation wizard of Java. Now click on continue and click on install. It will ask for the password of this machine. Okay, whatever the Mac machine password that is there, you just provide that. Now click on install software. The given password is correct, it will proceed further and uh, in no time it will install guys. Okay, install succeeded. Simply click on close. And uh, since installation is already done, it's asking whether what to do with this package file that you have used for installing the Java. I don't need that because I already installed. So I'll move it to trash. So it has moved to the trash. No need to worry more. So now I'll close this because I have already installed. Okay, we have downloaded and installed Java 11 JDK in our machine. Now to check whether uh, we have got this Java installed or not, I'll open this terminal spotlight and here search for terminal okay in the spotlight i'll open the spotlight and uh, search for terminal here and i got this terminal select the terminal in this terminal i have to type a command that is java hyphen version when i press enter if i get the version of a particular java then that means java has been successfully installed in my machine okay just press enter if you're getting the version of Java, whatever the Java version that you have installed, if you're getting that here means Java is successfully installed in your machine. That is 11.0.12 got successfully installed in a machine. That's one thing. Next, after that guys, we have to 
set the java underscore home path okay we have to set the java underscore home path after you have downloaded and installed java in your machine and if you are getting this version in the terminal then you have to set the path for this java underscore home that's the next step so how to do that so same terminal guys same terminal where you have typed java hyphen version right you'll continue here there are some commands guys i'll show you what are the commands okay i'll just write move it to the right side so that you can see the nodes and uh, along with this terminal side by side fine so first i have to type this command echo dollar java underscore home to see whether any particular path has been set already or not it'll not be set we'll get a blank just give echo dollar java underscore home just give this and press enter you see you're not getting anything here you've got a blank blank line that means this java underscore home is not set so we have to set the path to this java underscore home so for that we have to follow this below commands just type here echo dollar shell which path we have to set to know that we have to type echo dollar shell press enter you see slash bin slash zhs is a file so here we have to go to this uh, zsh we have to open the editor at this zh zsh location and uh, we have to modify we have to give the path guys for that we have to type this command so vi is an editor guys okay so type vi vi and i have to open the editor i have to open this file using this vi editor so the file is at this uh, zsh rc is a file okay so just give like this slash dot zsh rc you just give as it is guys okay if you are getting zsh here you have to give vi negation hyphen mm, i'm not hyphen this is a forward slash dot zsh rc like this exact you have to give okay so the moment i press enter here it will open an editor you see it has opened the editor in this terminal itself so i cannot edit guys okay by default i cannot uh, sorry by default, I cannot edit it. I have to press I, guys. Okay, if you have pressed I, it will convert into editor mode. Then you'll get insert here. Then you can type. Okay, you have to press I for insert. Okay, for this insert to come, you have to press I. Otherwise, you will not be able to edit. So fine. So anyhow, here insert mode came, so I can type. Okay, if you don't see this insert mode, you cannot type, guys. Okay, if you don't see this insert mode, you cannot type. To get this insert mode, you have to press I. Okay, after coming here, you have to press I. So here, once you press I and once this editor has been converted to insert more, now you have to type export Java underscore home is equal to dollar and you have to give this path. Okay. So here I have to type export. When this uh, editor is in insert mode, then you can type guys export. Otherwise, you have to press I to get into this insert mode. Then say home is equal to just give dollar, give circular brackets, and inside circular brackets type here exact thing slash user slash usr slash lib exec slash java underscore home. This path you give done. Once you have successfully typed this export Java underscore home is equal to dollar. Okay, slash user slash L I B E X E C. Uh, e -E -E there is a spelling mistake, guys. You have to be careful here. E X E C. Sorry, still it is a problem. E X E C. Okay, L I B E E X E C slash forward slash Java underscore home and done. Now, once you are done typing here, you have to press escape key on your keyboard. Just press escape key. You see, insert mode is gone. In the insert mode only, you can edit. For example, if I have to edit again, again, I will press I, you see it con converted into the insert mode. Now I can type again when you press escape, we are out of the insert mode. You cannot edit now. Okay. So like this, after that, say colon WQ, okay, colon WQ and press enter. That is written on your keyboard of the Mac machine. Once you come out immediately, you have to type this exit, type exit here and press return key on your keyboard. Once you press return key on your keyboard, you see saving session, copying, something will come. So you have to close this terminal and again, launch it again. Okay. Again, go to the spotlight. 
and open the terminal for the second time. So once you restart the terminal, now you type this command. In the beginning, guys, when you type this uh, Java underscore home command, okay, you didn't get the path, right? Now, after you have done all these steps, now if you type echo dollar Java underscore home, if I type like this, this time I got a path, okay? Java underscore home path is set. So we are now, we have now downloaded, installed and configured Java successfully in our Mac machine, okay? Along with setting the Java underscore home path, we have also downloaded install Java. Okay, all the steps related to Java are done. Now, let's move to the next next thing. Okay, Java is done, guys. In this Mac machine, there was no Java. We have downloaded, installed, and configured Java and set the path to the Java underscore home. Everything is done in terms of Java. Now, let's move to the next one. That is Eclipse IDE. We have to download, install Eclipse IDE, and we have to launch it. Okay, so that is. That's what we have to do. Again, I'll open the new tab and here I'll say download. I'll say download Eclipse ID and press enter. You'll get this link Eclipse ID, eclipse.org downloads link. You will get click on that. On the home page, on the home page of this uh, website, that is downloads page. On this downloads page, when you scroll down here, the latest version of Eclipse ID is available here. 2021-12, okay, that is December 2021, simple terms. So because this is December 2021, you see it's Sunday, December 26th, okay, 2021 this is, okay, this is 2021, if you want to find more details, that's okay. So I'll let me click on this download button. So as per today, that is the latest version, guys, and uh, here uh, you can again click on this download. Eclipse ID will now be downloaded in our machine in a while. You see, it's getting downloaded here. So this is a Chrome browser, guys. In Safari, I was, uh, sorry, in a Mac machine, I'm using the Chrome browser. You can also use the uh, default Safari browser also, okay? But downloads will happen on the top, okay? The Safari browser downloads will happen on the top. Okay, let's wait for this uh, Eclipse ID to download completely. It will take some three to four minutes of time. I'll pass this video, guys, and I'll resume the video once the download is completed so that uh, your time will not be wasted. Okay, the Eclipse ID has been successfully downloaded. So I'll double click on this DMG file that got downloaded here. So it's opening. Okay, uh, it has given us these two options. So I'll do one thing. I'll right click on this uh, file. I'll say copy and I'll go inside this applications and somewhere here in the blank area, I'll again right click and paste the item. This is what I have to do guys. So this is a step, this is a step for installation of this Eclipse ID guys. Uh, not installation is not yet done. Okay, this is a process of going to the installation. So we have to copy this. Uh, once you double click on the DMG, you'll get this in Eclipse, uh, Eclipse installer. That Eclipse installer you have to put into the applications. Once you copy here, you double click on this, guys. Okay. Once you copy that uh, Eclipse installer into these applications, you double click on this. You see, it will say open the installer of Eclipse ID. Yes. The installation will wizard will start. Okay. In a while, it will give us some options to install. Okay. So let's wait for the Eclipse ID to show the installation options. Let's wait. Yeah, Eclipse installer has started. So it is giving multiple options here. Okay, so I'll just minimize this background. So no need, right? So just focus is on this installation wizard. So here it's giving different options. Okay, we can choose any options to install this Eclipse ID. But uh, in this session, guys, for Selenium automation, especially for whatever I am doing, if you have to do the same thing, right? You have to go with the second option. Okay, don't go with first or any other options. Go with Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java and web developers. This option you have to go guys, okay? Java EE -E IDE, okay? This option you have to go with. Select that option. Now select install. <clears throat> so it's getting, you see, library, Java, Java virtual machine. This is a path guys, okay? This is a path where uh, in, our, in our machine, in the Mac machine, at this path, uh, the Java is getting installed, okay? Library, Java, Java virtual machines path.
So installation is going on. Let's wait for the installation to complete. Almost there. Okay, the installation is taking a bit longer, guys. So I'll pass and resume the video, guys. Once the installation is ready, I'll resume, okay? Okay, the installation has been done. Now let's launch the Eclipse. So just click on this launch, uh, it will launch the Eclipse. So let's wait for the Eclipse IDE to launch in this machine, this Mac machine. Okay, it's giving us some dialogue. Uh, so it's saying that this is a path where it is going to store the projects. So click on the browse, guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is a this is a pathway. Okay, this is a path where uh, the projects will be created. Okay. So where is the path? Uh, directly under this Eclipse workspace is the path. Okay, fine, no problem. Uh, I'll not change the path, guys. If you want to change the path, you just click on browse and again create a folder here. Just create a new folder. That is also fine. I'll go with the default path, whatever the path that is given by Eclipse ID, I'm taking that. And uh, I'm clicking on the launch. Now the Eclipse ID will launch. Since for the first time you're launching the Eclipse ID, you should get a welcome screen. Yes, you got a welcome screen here, right? Welcome screen has come. I'll maximize this so that you can see it in full screen. <clears throat> okay. So here I'll close the welcome screen. And once I close the welcome screen here, I can start creating a project. Okay. I want to, if I want to create a project here, I can create. So let's see how I can create the project. Just click on this and uh, select this project option. I'll create a Maven project guys. Okay. I'll not create a normal Java project. I'll create a Maven project. So here, uh, the steps are very simple guys. Okay. Once, uh, once you close the welcome screen, just click on this. Sorry, let me click it again. Just click on this and uh, select project and the project dialog, you select the Maven folder here. You can see the Maven folder, just scroll down and here Maven project will be there. Under the Maven folder, Maven project will be there. Click on next. Once you click on next, again, click on next guys, don't do any changes. After clicking on next here in the filter, search for Maven, Hyphen archetype hyphen quick start. Okay, quick start. Type this one. And from org Apache Maven archetypes, that is 1.4 version as of now. Maven archetype quick start. This one you have to select. So out of these three suggestible archetypes, you have to select the Apache Maven archetype. Click on next. Now here. Into this artifact ID, I have to give the project name. Let's say Selenium project. I'll say Selenium project. Selenium project. Okay. So here group ID, give, just give some random group IDs. Like uh, I'm just giving SP here. Okay. Don't keep it blank. Just give some group ID. And here package name also. Change it to some S pack or something. Now click on. This is the project name, guys. Selenium. This is the project name. Okay. Uh, so click on finish. The moment you click on finish, guys, in a while it's building something. Okay. The Selenium Maven project got created here. As you can see, expand this. Expand this. Okay. By default, you are getting SR, uh, under SRC main Java, SRC test Java, you are getting this S packages with some app app.java files i'll delete this file guys okay whatever the default app app test.java i'll delete that i don't need that i'll delete here also i can delete the necessary file okay now here i'll select this package now create under src test java under the package i'll create a new class okay i'll create the new class and here I'll give some name to the class, say, I'll give some demo, demo name to the class. Okay. 
Now I will uh, select this public static void main option. So it will auto generate the code for the main method inside this demo class. Inside this demo class, it will auto generate the code for the main method. Click on finish. Now, as you can see here, demo class has been created along with this main method automatically. And a comment is there. I'll remove this comment, guys. I don't need this comment. Just inside this main method, I'll start writing the code. Okay, I'll start writing the code so that I can run my Selenium automation script in Mac machine on Safari browser. Okay, so what's the code? I'll write the code like this. Web driver. Web driver driver is equal to new is equal to new uh, safari driver connect safari driver the semicolon here okay but thing is this is a maven project by default this maven project comes with java library java jre system library is there java library is there by default when you create the maven project by default this maven project by default comes with the jre system library that is java library that's why i'm not getting any errors when i'm typing the creating the class or creating the main method right i'm not getting errors because this project is by default coming with the java library but when i'm typing the statement of a selenium statement where i'm creating an object uh, for Safari driver class and assigning to the variable of this web driver interface, right? Then I'm getting the error. The reason here is this project doesn't recognize what is web driver. You see, when I hold the mouse, no import statement. When I hold the mouse on Safari driver, no import statement. That means this project doesn't recognize what is this web driver and what is this Safari driver. This is a predefined class in Selenium. This is a predefined interface in Selenium, but they belong to another library that is Selenium library, which is not configured in this project, okay? That Selenium library is not there in this project, guys. That's the reason we are getting the error sign. When I hover the mouse on the error, so I'm not getting the import statements. What I have to do to overcome this problem? I have to open this pom.xml file that you can see here in the project. So in this pom.xml file, scroll down. Here you see some dependencies, right? So by default, JNA dependency is there. I'll remove this JNA dependency as there is no use. So inside this dependency stacks, I will provide the dependencies of the Selenium. Okay. So how to do that? I'll uh, just uh, resize this again. And again, I will go to the browser and here in the browser, I will, I'll take you to MVN repository. I'll just search for the MVN repository. I'll get this MVN repository.com. When you go to this MVN repository.com here, you search for Selenium Java and press center. Then you got Selenium Java here. Just uh, take the latest version as of today, uh, as of today, that is December 26, 2021. We have this, uh, when I'm recording this video, I have this uh, latest version of Selenium 4, that is 4.1.1 is there. I'll click on that. Tomorrow you may get a far more latest version. You can take the latest version, okay? Uh, according to your time. And now uh, I'll copy this, okay? I'll copy this Maven dependency for Selenium Java for 4.1.1. I'll go back to the Eclipse ID. And here I'll paste it. I'll simply paste it, paste the dependencies for the Selenium. Now save this, the jar files, okay? Will be automatically downloaded for this Selenium Java and automatically those jar files will be configured in this project. I don't have to do anything else, okay? Let's wait for this uh, progress to be completed. It's 75 now. Let it done, let it be done. Okay, so it's still 75, let's wait. I'll maximize this meanwhile. So it's still downloading guys. It's still downloading. Yeah, 98%, 100%, almost there. Let's wait for more, some more time. Again, it started downloading something, downloading source and Java doc. I think for Selenium, it seems. Okay. <clears throat> Let's wait guys. Let's wait. Let the process be completed. So fine, it's 13%. Okay, still going on. Let me pass and resume this video, guys, and until it is hundred percent. So the process has been completed here, guys. Okay, as you can see in the bottom, there is no progress, no process. So close this pom.xml file after you add the dependency tags for Selenium Java. Anyhow, now hover the mouse on WebDriver. 
So give it some time again and uh, hover the mouse again on WebDriver. You see now you got the import statement for WebDriver. You can now import the WebDriver interface from the Selenium library because you have successfully configured the Selenium Java in this project, Selenium Java libraries in this project. Hover the mouse on uh, Safari driver and import this uh, Safari driver class from Selenium library, done. And like other browsers guys, you don't have to give any path for the, here you don't have to specify system.set property or web driver manager dot safari driver dot setup. You don't have to write anything here. The reason here is, the reason behind that is for all the other browsers guys, for all the other browsers, Selenium requires, okay, a driver executable file, okay. For all the other browsers, like if you are using in place of Safari driver, if you are using Chrome driver, then you need to download the Chrome driver.exe file, right? Driver executables, if you remember with other browsers. That is not required here because Selenium natively supports the directly, okay? Selenium natively supports the Safari browser. You don't need any third, third party person in between. For example, in case of Chrome browser, Chrome browser will be there. On the other side of the Chrome browser, automation scripts will be there. In between this automation scripts and the Chrome browser, Chrome browser we need Chrome driver.exe file. Driver executable is required. So a mediator is required. A translator kind of person is required between a Chrome browser and the automation scripts. That is nothing but the Chrome driver.exe is a translator or mediator there. But now coming to the Safari, Safari browser, this side we have the Safari browser and that side we have the automation scripts. In between, we don't need anything, direct communication, okay? Selenium directly communicates with the Safari browser. We don't need any Safari driver.exe. That is not required at all, okay? That's one thing you have to remember. Then I'll, I'll directly write the code then, okay? Because it's directly supported, right? Okay, I'll write the code here. Driver.manage.window. Maximize then driver dot get here. I'll provide this uh, URL of the application that I want to automate. I'll just resize this for a while and uh, I'll take the URL, guys. So I'll take this uh, tutorials ninja dot com slash demo application. I'll just open this application once. Okay, the application has been opened. I'll copy this URL and uh, paste into the Eclipse ID here into this get command of Selenium. So I'll paste it. Where is the paste option, guys? Here is the option, okay? I pasted the URL. Yes, after that, what I want to do here is I want to enter some text into this search box field, okay? I want to enter some text into the search box field. So if I inspect the search box field here, uh, this search box field has a name locator. Name is equal to search is there. I'll copy this and go to the Eclipse ID here. I'll write the line driver dot find element by dot name. Inside that, paste it. Paste that uh, name locator and say dot send keys dot send keys and give the text that you want to type here. I'll uh, just okay. Here I'll type the text. Let's say HP product. I want to search for HP product in that application. After searching, I want to after typing HP here. After typing HP here, I want to click on this uh, search button. Inspect the search button. So this is a button guys. So how to create uh, some CSS selector maybe for this double slash uh, button at the rate type is equal to button. Sorry, uh, button type is equal to button class is equal to like this. I have to create some CSS selector. So what I have to do here is uh, I'll type it or else I'll right click on this button and say copy, copy, uh, copy selector. Okay. I'll come back here and say driver dot find element by dot CSS selector 
give the CSS selector here that you have just now copied. Okay, this is a CSS selector dot click dot click. That's it. Put a semicolon here. Okay. So this is what I want to automate, guys. Let's see what will happen. Any issues or errors? Let me save this. Okay, no errors. So if I run this code, this code will not be executed, guys. Okay. You may think that I have written proper code, but this code won't be executed. There is a reason why. First, I'll run this code and explain you why the code is not running properly. Okay. Uh, I'll just right click here and say run as Java application. You will see that the code will not be executed. You'll get some error or exception kind of thing. You see, already you got an exception. The reason behind that is you got session not created exception. The reason behind that is you have to change few things in the Safari browser, guys. Okay. So you must enable allow remote automation option in which browser? Allow remote automation option you have to enable in Safari browsers, which menu? Develop menu. Right. Then only this automation script will run on the Safari browser. So if you don't enable this allow remote automation option in develop menu of the Safari browser until then the automation script will not be run. So what I will do here is I'll open the Safari browser. I'll open the Safari browser here. Once I open the Safari browser, I have to go to the develop menu. Do you see any develop menu here in the Safari browser? Only Safari menu is there. File menu, edit menu, view menu, history, bookmarks, window help is there. But is there any develop menu in this Safari browser? No. What I have to do to get the develop menu is I have to click on this Safari and select this preferences. And after selecting Safari and preferences, this dialogue advanced dialogue will come. This advanced tab will be there by default. Then select this checkbox option, show develop menu in menu bar like this. The moment I select this option, you see, we got the develop menu. Earlier, this develop menu was not there. Okay. When this option is not selected, you'll not see any develop menu. But the moment you select this option, you'll get the develop menu here, right? So once the develop menu has come, just close this. Now click on this develop menu and just go down, just go down, scroll down. And here you will see allow remote automation option. You need to select that. So once this allow remote, uh, uh, allow remote automation option is selected in the develop menu of the Safari browser. Now close this Safari browser. Did I close the Safari browser? Yes, I closed the Safari browser. Now, once you close the Safari browser, now run the script. Right click, run as Java application. This time the automation script should run. You see, the automation script is now running in Safari browser. It will type HP into the search box field and it has to type, it has to click on the search button, but uh, it's not happening. It seems it's not happening. Let's see what's happening. What's the problem? It's still running guys, which it's kind of slow. Maybe okay. maybe the site is loading. So it's asking me to whether to continue the session or not. Let's say continue the session. Let me run it again, guys. Okay. Stop the session and uh, I'll run it, uh, run the script again. Let's wait. Let's run this. <clears throat> Let's see what will happen this time. I'm running again. It has to open the Safari browser. It's running. Okay, it's not, nothing is happening. Wait for a while. Oh, something happened here. What is that? Again, session timeout. Okay. What happened guys? Let me cross check once again. So Safari browser is not launching to do some reasons. So let me do one thing. Okay, guys, so let's continue. So nothing happened, guys, a small glitch. Let's try to run it. Let's see whether it will open the Safari browser or not. Yeah, it has opened Safari browser. 
it need to type HP into the search box field and click on the search button. Okay, still running, it seems. Okay, continue the session. Maybe it's low, it's taking a lot of time to load, guys. Okay, so we'll do one thing. I'll close this. I'll stop the session. Stop this. I'll stop this and uh, yeah, it's opening properly. Let me run it again. The problem is with the application guys, not the script. Okay. The problem is with the application. The application sometimes doesn't load properly. Whatever the application I have taken here as an example. What's the problem here? Let's see. I closed it, right? That's the reason. Okay. I'll take another application guys. Okay. This application has some problem. Let me take another application. I'll go with Amazon or something. Okay. Otherwise. So I'll go with another application. The application has some problem. Otherwise I'll go with this another sample application. My dot uh, block spot. This application I'll go with. This won't have any problem mostly. Here I'll go to this application. I want to type the text into the text area field. So I'll copy this very simple script. I'll write where I'll go to this application driver dot get double quotes, just provide that application URL. And here I want to type text into this text area field. I'll inspect this. So it has some ID, copy this ID. Driver dot find element I dot ID paste it then dot send keys. I'll type my name guys into the text area field. I want to type my name into the text area field. The Selenium automation script has to type my name. That's it. Let's run this code and see what will happen. I'll close this browser once and run the script. Okay. Yeah, it has opened the application URL. And uh, it has to type my name, it has typed. You see the problem was with the application that I was using earlier, but with this application, it is working fine, right? The script is running. It has typed my name into the text area field. So everything is working fine. So, so that's all guys, uh, that's all like how we have to, okay, configure or run our Selenium automation script in Mac machine Safari browser. This is the process. This is the process guys. So what next is, uh, so just before I wind up, I'll, I'll explain one more thing here. Once I close this Eclipse ID, let's say if I close this Eclipse ID, okay. And close everything. Now, again, if I have to open the Eclipse ID, what I have to do? What are the different ways in which I can open the Eclipse ID again? One way is go to this go and go to this, uh, home, go to the home and uh, you will find this Eclipse folder there. Go inside the Eclipse folder. Just go inside this JE folder and copy this. Just copy this icon and go to the applications and uh, here paste it. Paste item into the application. Okay. Because next time I have to launch the Eclipse ID, I don't know how to launch it. Right. That's the reason I have to go to this go 
go to this uh, home and from there i have to copy this eclipse side eclipse option and uh, eclipse launcher and uh, put into the applications now close this go to the launch pad this time you will find this uh, eclipse here okay you'll find this eclipse here just double click here it will open okay next time onwards you just click on the launch pad and open the eclipse that's one way so once you close the eclipse id this is a way to open the eclipse again eclipse id again from the launch pad and by doing the steps after copying that eclipse uh, launcher into the application and then go to the launch pad and launch this is one way and other way is just click on this terminal just click on this uh, spotlight and here uh, click on that spotlight and uh, in the spotlight type eclipse you'll get this eclipse here and also guys you are getting this eclipse installer also i want to i don't want this eclipse installer because i've already installed eclipse id right why eclipse installer is required only eclipse is required but i am getting this eclipse installer so what i will do is i'll go to the finder again go to the applications here i don't want this i'll uh, move this to trash now now go to this launch pad here this time only eclipse you will find this is the one for launching guys that is for installing that installing thing is gone away because we don't have to install again then uh, again the same thing just go to this uh, spotlight and now let's type eclipse this time only eclipse you are getting right only eclipse you are getting to launch so like this you can launch the eclipse let's launch the eclipse click on launch and here in this eclipse we have our project already created right we already created a maven project in that maven project we configured that maven project with selenium libraries and we were able to run the automation script this script you are able to run right i'll show you how to run again just right click here and say run as java application it will run the automation script so it has to open this omai.blogspot.com and it has to type my name into the text area field okay it has it's taking us and it has to type my name it has typed okay so working fine right i'll stop this session and i'll uh, close this eclipse id let's go back to our notes okay i did i close my notes fine no problem so guys that's all that's all uh, this is a process guys this is a process for uh, you know right uh, executing your or running your automation scripts selenium automation scripts on mac machine safari browser so that's it guys thank you bye